The movie, set in a dystopian future, portrays a world where humanity has been driven underground, away from the habitable surface of the Earth. In this underground society, a highly controlled and scientifically advanced environment has been created, functioning as a research center. This underground chamber enforces strict rules and regulations, with dire consequences for those who defy them. One of the most rigid prohibitions is against sexual intercourse and natural reproduction. Anyone found violating this rule faces severe punishment, essentially being erased from existence. To suppress human nature and maintain control, the inhabitants are required to consume mind-altering pills daily. These pills dull emotions, eliminating concepts of family, love, and individuality. The people, devoid of emotion, dedicate themselves solely to their work, performing their duties in an almost robotic manner. The residents are assigned to perform hazardous and demanding tasks, sometimes risking their lives in their daily routines. Uniformity is a key principle of this society emphasized by their appearance. All individuals, regardless of gender, wear identical white uniforms and have shaved heads. This uniformity extends to their identities as well. People are not known by names, but are instead identified by codes consisting of three letters followed by numbers. The protagonist of the movie, THX 1138, works in a factory that manufactures androids used as police officers. He shares his living quarters with a woman named LUH 3417, who is employed at the city's central control unit. This unit, which oversees the city, also employs SEN 5241. The factory where THX works is particularly dangerous, with a constant emphasis on safety. Then, we see THX finishing his shift and heading to his room. As he navigates through the city, a congratulatory announcement blares through the loudspeakers, celebrating the factory's achievement of losing only 195 workers while producing a single android officer. Soon after, THX finds himself wrestling with an inner turmoil that is at odds with the rigidly controlled society in which he lives. On his way back to his room, he makes a stop at a confession booth, a symbol of the society's attempt to maintain control over individual thoughts and emotions. The booth, beautified with a portrait of Jesus Christ, is operated by an AI machine designed to receive confessions and offer guidance. As THX enters the booth, he begins to express his doubts and concerns. He speaks in a disturbed tone, confessing that he has been feeling unwell and experiencing emotions that are unfamiliar to him. The machine, in a soothing voice, prompts him to continue, but its primary concern is whether THX has been taking his prescribed pills, which are meant to suppress emotions and maintain uniformity among the population. Despite THX's assurance that he has been taking his pills, he can't shake the feeling of unease growing within him. The machine unable to provide genuine help, ends the session with a hollow parting message, reinforcing the state's doctrine. You are a true believer. Blessings of the state, blessings of the masses. Work hard, increase production, prevent accidents, and be happy. Upon returning home, THX finds his roommate Eliuch already there. After taking his medication, THX sits down to watch a Holocaust program on the screen. Unbeknownst to him, Eliuch has been secretly replacing his pills with ones that do not contain the usual sedatives. This substitution is gradually changing THX, causing him to experience nausea, anxiety, and for the first time, sexual desires. Eliuch who has developed feelings for THX, sees this as an opportunity to connect with him on a more intimate level. After sharing a meal together, LUH approaches THX in a romantic manner, and he finds himself unable to resist. They engage in a forbidden act of sexual intercourse, a significant defiance of the society's rules. LUH confesses to THX that she has been altering his medication, which has freed him from the emotionally numbing effects of the pills. She urges him not to resume taking the regular medication, fearing that he might revert to his previous, emotionless state and possibly report her to the central control system for her actions. The story progresses as THX returns home from another grueling shift at work. To his surprise, he finds SEN sitting in his apartment. Sen informs THX that he has arranged for himself to be THX's new roommate, explaining that LUH has been moved to another flat. THX is visibly unsettled by this sudden change and the absence of LUH, whom he has grown close to. He leaves Sen in the apartment, clearly unhappy with the situation. Determined to fix the situation, THX files a complaint against SEN with the central control unit. SEN's unauthorized swapping of roommates is a violation of the strict rules governing their society. As a result, SEN is apprehended by the android police officers back at work 
THX experiences a moment of distraction and disorientation while operating a machine during a critical and hazardous phase. His lapse in concentration triggers an alarm, prompting a warning for the other workers. The factory is evacuated, but THX remains, his condition worsening as he reveals the whites of his eyes in a state of confusion. The central control unit detects a chemical imbalance in THX's body, a direct result of him not taking the prescribed pills since becoming romantically involved with LUH. They impose a mind lock on THX to control the situation. Eventually, THX is able to make the necessary correction, averting a disaster at the factory and ensuring no no lives are lost. The plot takes a dramatic turn when both THX and LUH are arrested by the android police for pill evasion and engaging in a prohibited sexual relationship. THX is placed in a white space for further examination, where he behaves erratically as the androids probe his body. During this intense and disorienting experience, he undergoes therapy and medical analysis. In a surreal moment, THX briefly reunites with LUH in the white space. She shares the news that she is pregnant with his child, a revelation that fills THX with a mix of joy and hope at the prospect of starting a family in their oppressive world. Their moment of happiness is short-lived, however, as the android officers intervene, forcibly separating them. THX is taken away, leaving LUH behind. The trial of THX begins, marking a critical point in the movie. He faces serious charges for violating the strict regulations of their society, engaging in sexual intercourse, and evading the mandatory consumption of mind-altering pills. In this dystopian world, such transgressions typically result in the harshest of punishments, the termination of one's existence. However, THX's unique circumstances lead to an unexpected turn in his fate. The medical analysis reveals that THX is a laboratory-created individual, conceived and born through clinical means. Considering this, the authorities conclude that executing THX would be an inefficient loss of resources. Instead, they sentence him to imprisonment, a slightly better but still daunting fate. Essien, who THX had previously reported for illegal room swapping, is also sent to prison. The prison in which THX and Sen find themselves is a stark, featureless environment. Everything is engulfed in a pervasive whiteness, creating a sense of endless emptiness and disorientation. The prisoners are left to sit on white benches, lost in their thoughts, grappling with the weight of their circumstances. In this desolate setting, Sen initiates a conversation with THX, inquiring if his arrest was due to the woman he loves. Sen proposes an audacious plan. They should escape from the prison. The idea of escaping sparks a glimmer of hope in THX, driven by his longing to reunite with the mother of his unborn child. Despite the apparent emotionlessness of the other prisoners, THX and SN resolve to act on their plan. Embarking on their daring escape, THX and Sen journey far beyond the confines of the prison. They constantly check behind them, gauging their progress by the diminishing visibility of their fellow inmates. As they venture further into the unending white expanse, the prison fades from sight, affirming their progress in this seemingly infinite void. Amidst their escape, they encounter a surprising figure. The presence of this unexpected individual in the vast whiteness intrigues THX and SN, prompting them to pause and investigate who this person might be. As the unknown man approaches THX and SN, his features become more distinct, and he introduces himself as SRT 5752. He explains that he is a former star of Hollow Broadcasts. THX and SEN share their situation with SRT. SRT offers to guide them, pointing out that they have been inadvertently moved moving in circles. Back at the central unit, the escape of two prisoners sets off an alarm. The authorities begin calculating the budget they'll allocate to the operation aimed at recapturing the escapees. This calculated approach to a search and rescue mission underscores the society's emphasis on efficiency and cost effectiveness, even in matters of security. Meanwhile, the trio, now including SRT, finally breaks free from the monotonous white space and finds themselves in a different part of the city. During their escape, THX and SRT are separated from CN. SN stumbles upon a monastery and encounters a monk in a confession booth. The monk, noticing SN's lack of an identification badge, offers assistance. However, SN, in a state of confusion and desperation, attacks the monk. He then wanders aimlessly into a child-rearing area, engaging in a brief, aimless conversation with the children before being apprehended by police androids. THX and SRT find themselves in a control room filled with computer switches. THX, 
eager to locate LUH, searches for her name in the system. To his despair, he discovers that LUH has been terminated and her identification has been reassigned to her unborn child, now labelled as fetus number 66691 in a growth chamber. Realising the fruitlessness of his search to find LUH, THX shifts his focus to escaping the oppressive environment. Together with SRT, they navigate their way to a vehicle storage area. Despite the imminent threat of being captured by the pursuing police androids, SRT manages to start the engine of one of the vehicles, and they make a daring escape from the area. The entire sequence is closely monitored by the central system, highlighting the pervasive surveillance and control exerted by the authorities in this dystopian society. THX finds himself alone. SRT is nowhere to be found. Undeterred, THX perseveres in his quest to escape, even as he is relentlessly pursued by two android police officers on motorcycles. The chase intensifies as THX approaches the edge of the city. As he reaches what seems to be the end of the city, THX encounters an unexpected hurdle. Strange creatures resembling monkeys and known as shell dwellers emerge and threaten him. THX is forced to navigate through this new danger, struggling to avoid their grasp. In the midst of this chaos, THX spots a ladder leading upward a potential escape route. Fueled by a sense of hope and desperation, he begins to ascend, believing this could be his final chance to break free from the suffocating confines of his life in the underground city. The android officers, still in pursuit, start to climb the ladder after him. However, in a twist of fate, the central control unit issues an unexpected order to the android officers. Stop the pursuit. The budget allocated for the operation to capture THX has been exhausted, and as a result, the operation is terminated. The androids, bound by their programming and orders, cease their chase and descend the ladder, leaving THX to continue his ascent unchallenged. As THX climbs higher, the officers use a loudspeaker to warn him that the world outside the city shell is uninhabitable, attempting to persuade him to surrender. But THX, driven by an unwavering resolve, ignores their warnings and pushes forward climbing towards the unknown. Upon reaching the top of the ladder, THX emerges into a new world, vastly different from the underground city he has known. He steps onto the surface, overwhelmed by the brightness of this unfamiliar environment, a stark contrast to the artificial illumination of the city below. The movie concludes with THX standing on the surface, shielding his eyes from the sun's glare, and the movie ends on a note of hope and liberation.